and welcome to Newsmakers. I'm your host, Nancy Lewis. Today we're going to be talking about economic development, some mental health issues, some other topics too, and we're here shooting in Kansas City today on the Country Club Plaza with State Representative Ann Zair. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. So economic development, it's always on the um, list of things that, that legislators want to talk about in Missouri. <laughs> What are we actually going to get accomplished this year, do you think? That's a really good question because yeah. every year we, we approach economic development in so many different ways. And with term limits and two-year terms um, and four years in the Senate, everybody has new ideas all the time. Sometimes they are good ideas and sometimes they're, they're, um, they're less effective, uh, you know, less promising. Right. So what, uh, what we'd like to do for 2015 is take a, a pretty comprehensive look at how um, economic development policy, di uh, commerce policy, I guess mm -hmm. I can call it, um, affects the state as a whole because, you know, if we don't grow, we can't pay our bills, right. um, you know. Right. So this past year, we, we um, cut income tax for the first time in decades, right. and we overrode the governor's veto. So right. that's one approach, you yeah, know, in this cog. Yeah, 25% for, for business tax. Yeah, and so I think it's a rational approach. Yeah. Um, you know, there has to be a few triggers uh, in growth that are in place before the, the actual cuts go in. So that's one cog in the economic development wheel is taxation. Uh, another is incentives. What type of incentives uh, does the state want to provide or should provide to stimulate economic development in what areas? So we need to choose what kind of um, tax incentives, tax credits, uh, what kind of industries we want to um, attract. Mm -hmm. And I think the state of Missouri has invested in life sciences, biosciences, high-tech uh, high uh, manufacturing and uh, the sciences in, in research for um, many years now right. that I, I think we need to continue to invest in those areas because we have to be pretty specific and target certain areas that we want to um, increase activity. Right. So I think we're going to see that as a part of the COG as well and focus on math, engineering, technology and science education. I think that's so important that we keep pace to develop a skilled workforce for tomorrow's right. jobs. Right, that's so important because you know when businesses say um, that they have chosen a state to be in, a skilled workforce is really maybe number one mm -hmm. for a lot of them at the top of the list above a lot of things that we assume they're coming for, including taxes and some other right. things. Right, really, skilled workforce is top you're, of that you're list. right. You're right on. And you know, we have in the Midwest here, we have a lot of resources. We're well positioned in the, in the country. Uh, we're hardworking. We have that kind of um, ethic, that work ethic. And we have talented, intelligent people. So we have to, we have to uh, uh, farm that, you know, right. cultivate that. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. We have very little time left. I want you to quickly talk to me oh. about investing in mouth in mental health services for Missouri? I think it's very important because so often we can prevent a lot of physical health problems, poverty, uh, abuse, if we just address the need for mental health first. And I want the state to continue to invest in, in mental health services. I think that's where a lot of illness all across the board starts. So you'll be pushing for that this year? Yes, ma'am, I will. All right. <laughs> thank Thanks you. A lot. Thanks so much. Thanks for being here, and thank you for being here. We hope to see you next time on Newsmakers.